Sometimes the abstract concepts in mathematics is difficult to understand, but with the help of an activity, it is more clear to the learner. Hello students, today we are going to verify the total surface area of a right circular cone with the help of an activity. To do this activity, the material required are cardboard, thick sheet of paper, scissor, cutter, ruler, pencil, pen and paper. Now students, what is this? A right circular cone. We have made this right circular cone with the help of thick sheet of paper. Where H is the vertical height of the cone, L is the slant height of the cone and R is the radius of the circular base. Students, question arises, what is the total surface area of this right circular cone? Find this, we must know the area of this curved part and the area of the circular base. Again question arises, what is the area of this curved part? You can see that this is a right circular cone with an open base and to find the area of this curved part, let us cut it along its slant height. Now you can see that this kind of a shape is obtained and it is still not a well known geometrical figure. So students, we are going to divide it into small sectors. So, students, you can see that we have divided this entire piece of paper into nine sectors. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now, we are going to cut these sectors. What you have observed? You can see that these sectors is approximately a small triangle. As you can see in this that these are small triangles. This is the first triangle, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth and ninth. Now what is the area of a triangle? As we know area of a triangle is half into base of a triangle and into height. Now you can see that e in each such triangle, the height of the triangle is nothing but the slant height of the right circular cone, which is L. So what will be the area of entire piece of paper or we can say the entire curved surface part of the right circular cone is area, sum of the area of each and every triangles which is half into B1 into L plus half into B2 into L plus so on till half into B9 into L where these B1, B2, B3, B4 and so on till B9 are nothing but you can see that bases of each and every triangle. Let us take half and L common, we can see what we are getting half into L into B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4, B5 plus B6 plus B7 plus B8 and B9. And you can observe that B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4, B5 plus B6 plus B7 plus B8 plus B9 is nothing but 
this boundary of the circular base and which is the circumference of the circular base of radius r. So, we can write it here as half into l into 2 pi r. So, by mathematical manipulation we can see that the curved surface area of a right circular cone is pi r l where r is the radius of the circular base and l is the slant height of the right circular cone. Now, to find the total surface area, we can see that we have to join or close this right circular cone with a circular base of radius r. So, we can see that the total surface area of a right circular cone is curved surface area plus the area of the circular base. And just now, we have found out that curved surface area is pi r l. So, an area of the circular base is pi r square. Again, by mathematical manipulation, we can see that the total surface area of a cone is pi r r plus l in some suitable units. Now, students, let us see with the help of actual measurement. On measuring, we can see that the radius of the circular base is coming out to be 7 centimeter. The slant height of this right circular cone is 26 centimeter. And here the value of pi is 3.14. Also on measurement, you can see that the measurement of each and every base of these small triangles is B1 is coming out to be 4.3 centimeter, B2 6.2 centimeter, B3 4 centimeter, B4 4.6 centimeter, B5 4.4 centimeter, B6 5.2 centimeters, B7 5.1 centimeter, B8 5.2 centimeter and B9 5 centimeter. We have just now find out in through experimentation that the curved portion or we can say the area of the curved part is half into L where L is the slant height of the right circular cone into the sum of the length of the bases of each triangle. So, we can see by putting the values of each basis in this we can see it is coming out to be 4.3 plus 6.2 plus 4 plus 4.6 so on till 5 putting the value of L which is 26 and summing them all we see that it is coming out to be 44. By again mathematical manipulation we can see that it is coming out to be 572 square centimeters. So students we have seen that the curved surface area of a right circular cone is 572 square centimeter and the area of the circular base is pi r square where r is 7 centimeter. So, the area of circular base is 3.14 into 7 into 7 as we know the value of pi is 3.14. Again by mathematical manipulation we have seen that this area of the circular base is coming out to be 153.86 square centimeters. So, students total surface area of a right circular cone is curved surface area plus area of circular base which is 572 plus 153.86 square centimeters which is coming out to be 725.86 square centimeter. Let us mark it as A. Now, 
Let us calculate by putting these values in actual formula. As we know that the total surface area is pi r, r plus l. So, putting the values of r, l and pi in this, we can see that the total surface area is coming out to be 725.34 square centimeters. Let us mark it as B. So, students you can see from A and B that the result is compatible. So, students today we have verified that the total surface area of a right circular cone is pi r, r plus l where r and l have their usual meanings. Thank you.